Decepticons with rec- with recoloring and different names. So they're not so Hasbro's not gonna complain about that. You know that Hasbro owns the names Autobot and Decepticon, right? Just using those names is already taking from them. Yeah, even if even if you, you, what's that? I said nobody's complained to me yet. Well, that's probably because you haven't made money on Sonichu yet. If you, I, I promise you, if you made one dime on Sonichu, um, Hasbro and Sega and Nintendo will come down on your head because you just recolor their characters. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Or if it's <laughs> like. Chris, you can't afford to wait till you get to that bridge because you've spent 10 years devoting your life to this comic, which will unravel the instant you try to make money on it. Make one dime, lose $50,000 in lawsuits. You need to do something about it now before you waste any more time and effort on a franchise that is full of... Uh, stolen material. Mm, yeah, well, I'll think about that further. Chris, I'm trying to help you here. I mean, you. Yeah. How many how many times tonight have you said, you know, oh, I'll think about that. Anything else? Like you, I think you are trying to rush this phone call. Chris, I have. You got to admit, I've got the patience of a saint to keep calling you and keep trying to be nice to you. And it seems like you have no concern for anything I say. I mean, keep in mind, I... I am, I am paying attention to everything you said. But it seems like you don't want to take my advice. Well, I am going to take your advice here. So let's... Set my you mean you're going to restructure your comic completely and remove all elements of, you know, that belong to... Um, other creators, because that would pretty much take apart your entire comic. What are you going to do? What's what's your plan? What are you going to do to um, follow that advice? The reboot, the reboot will happen in book number 12. Oh, oh. Um, well, you're still working on book 10, right? So you'll have that and then all of book 11. Yeah, well, book, 11 will, book 11 will be like a clip show which will unravel some of those plots and whatnot, um, and uh, answer some questions. And then book 12 is like restarting with just uh, just Sancho and those two and me not getting involved that much. That's okay, all. well, um, is Sancho still going to be a product of Pikachu and Sonic? Because that's a problem right there. I do not have an answer to that question at the moment. Chris, I suggest that you, instead of going through the rest of episode or issue 10 and 11, I suggest that you stop it all right now and come up with a completely different comic because that's the only way you're going to get away from lawsuits. You've got to answer this problem because... You know, Nintendo and Sega and Hasbro and Family Guy... They're not going to wait. They're not, and you and you know that when I say that you need to do a reboot, um, you know I mean that all of the Sonichu comics that currently exist, you can never attempt to get punished, published. I mean, yeah, because well, yeah, everything you have said has been taken to heart. Um, I kind of yeah. doubt that you're, you've got this kind of lackadaisical tone you're taking with me right now. <sighs> Chris, yeah, do you believe I'm trying to help you? Fairly you much be- so. Do you care that I'm trying to help you? Yes, I care. Okay. Do you feel bad that you've treated me like shit, even though I've tried to help you countless times? You sound like a small child trying to get out of being lectured. That's why I keep asking this. Chris, I'd like you to make me... I'd like you to make me believe that you actually are listening and believe to everything I say. And when I say listen, I don't mean, you know, 
you wrote down the list I asked you to and can repeat my words back to me. That's not what listening means. Listen means you are actually considering what I say. I am, say I am actually considering what you are saying. Prove it to me, Chris. Okay, how do I prove it to you? Show you some... Show some concern. I mean, it, you say something other than I will take it into consideration. That's the same thing you say to your fans every time they suggest ideas to you in the mailbag. I don't think you do take anything I say into consideration. You know what? <sighs> My first few calls with you, I was nice like this, and you were insulting to me. And then, you know, the next uh, few times I tried to call you, I got mean and loud and yelled a lot, and then it seemed like you actually listened. And now I'm trying to be nice again because I didn't want to, I don't like being mean to people, you know, and now it seems like you stopped listening again. I think, I, I was hoping for the best, but I think I may have been right. I may have hit the nail on the head when I said that you seem to only listen to, you know, to yelling and insults. Well, that is not true. I do not I listen to only yelling and insults. You know, I think you do because, you know, people, um, I think a, a big problem a lot of people have is that they believe the way they behave is the way that everybody behaves and the rules that they follow is the way everybody follows. And I think that because you um, rely on bullying and trolling and insulting and trying to make other people feel bad just to make yourself feel good. Uh, because you practice all of those, I think you believe that that's the only set of rules that applies in the world. Well, that is not the case. You, you sound so convincing there. You really do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> you know, you... You seem to really care about what Mao says, and all Mao does is insult you. Did I did I tell you that um, to get rid of Simona? I don't remember if I brought this up, but yeah, yes, uh, you did. Ev yes, you did. Evan wants you to violently kill her in the comic, and and display it. Don't show it off screen or off panel, but you have to show it in the comic, like show her head getting chopped off or show her getting shot full of bullets, something like that. I will not kill her, but she will leave Clickville peacefully. Um, you have to kill her. You have to kill her. Going, I am not going to kill her. Chris, I will let her right. leave. I will, no, I that's one of my terms. It's not like Poochie from The Simpsons where you can just, you know, take his frame out. It. Chris, you violently kill her or Evan might come down on you and the Wikipedia. And I know you already got the Wikipedia shut down once when you tried to manipulate the ads. If you don't respect this now, it's going to get shut down again because Evan is going to come down on you. And he would have come down on you a long time ago, except I was trying to be the voice of peace and was holding his anger in check. And I'm not going to do that now. I, now I've learned my lesson. Now I'm just telling you these are the terms. You either follow them or you face Evan's anger. All right. So you're going to violently kill Simona, right? Okay, and show happen. it. Happen, yes. Okay. Um, I suggest fire. I think that's always a good, good way to go to you know deal with characters that you want to get rid of. It's just it's very visually you know draws people in. It's everybody loves fire. You know, sometimes, sometimes I light people on fire in my comic, and every time I do, I get all this fan mail, you know, just praising that that one panel or that one page. Yeah, well, I will think about. I will think of something. I will okay. think about it. All right. Um, can I have you one more time read off your list to me? Okay. <sighs> Admit Alec has a sizable fan base. Let's admit actually change that to admit Alec has a greater fan base than you. Let's just, because we should be specific. Greater fan base. 
Yep, bigger uh, fan base. Yeah, 